So in this episode of the traditional market series here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, I'm at the Giao Vuan Chui, the banana garden market here in District 3. This is actually a very famous market close to District 1. So a lot of tourists visit District 1 and District 3 or stay in these districts. So it's very convenient for you. A little bit less hectic than the Bachu market. There's some alleys that are a little more quiet, but there's still motorbikes that go through them in this market. Love this market, by the way, and, and the neighborhood is amazing. I and mean, it's absolutely what you're looking for if you want a cultural experience of everyday life in Saigon here, Ho Chi Minh City. So I'll take you through the market and then a little bit through the neighborhood. And then we're going to wrap it up with a visit to a cafe that was once an arms stash for the resistance here in South Vietnam, which played a role in the Tet Offensive. We're going to check out its basement, its hidden basement in this episode. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention, lots of skin clinics in this neighborhood too, so if you're looking for a couple of shots of Botox, fill up those gaps, you can do that here too. <laughs> so this is an interesting local market. Hello, hello. Um, uh, really interesting market, very friendly people here. Uh, it's not a tourist market though, so you're not going to find souvenirs here, but lots of local goods and you know, if there's something that you see that you like, people are happy to deal with you. Some of them speak English, some of them don't, but it's easy to translate. I mean, what's really interesting about this market area are all the streets that surround the market. Uh, and there's lots of really narrow little alleys here that are quite atmospheric. So if you're a photographer, you'll love uh, all of the scenes that you can capture here as well. So this is definitely one of the highlights of walking around the alleys here is seeing stuff like this tree. Actually, this market has also been mentioned in a lot of fiction books that take place here in Saigon. I never film anybody that's holding a knife unless I get the okay first. Never. So of course you can get great food in almost any neighborhood here in Ho Chi Minh City, any district. 
This one stands out for me, not only because there's lots of variety of good food, it's mostly geared to locals, but you also get a glimpse at everyday life here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam as well, which is very, very cool. This is very cool retro barber shop here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> So I'm going to get the, the ban tom. Yeah. So the prawn and bread. Yeah. It's, it's good? Yeah. Oh, this is all so good. This really, truly is an amazing experience. Walking down this street, knowing that there was a house down here that was used as a weapon stash for the Tet Offensive back in 1968, a real pivotal point in the Vietnam War. And, you know, it's actually exactly what I would expect uh, that a place uh, like that would be located at. Just an average alley way here in District 3. Lots of market activity going on, lots of distractions and that. So uh, let's head over to the Cafe Fudu. So I'm outside the Cafe de Pho here in District 3, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And this was the place where they stashed a lot of weapons that were used in the Tet Offensive in 1968. Particularly the site that they attacked uh, was the Presidential Palace. And so all the weapons uh, that were used to attack the Presidential Palace were stashed here and were actually transported in this car up to that site probably either late January 30th, 1968, or early January 31st, which was the first day of the Lunar New Year. So, and I think this uh, vehicle, actually, it's an old Citroen. It might have a false bottom in it as well. They stashed weapons in here when they were bringing them in. And then these are a lot of the tools that they use to uh, build this secret basement here. Shovels, picks, saws, all kinds of uh, gear here. So I have to say, this is a pretty amazing place. The owner has collected all kinds of antiques here and put them throughout uh, the floors of the house. And um, it's really kind of overwhelming, quite remarkable to think that this place was used to stash weapons uh, for the Tet Offensive here. And uh, so now we're gonna go downstairs and see what this basement uh, looks like. So we're gonna go down now. I've got my tour guide with me. This is all free, by the way. Yeah, so give it a try. You were, you were saying, I mean, I, I, I know I can't fit in the Coochie Tunnels, but this is a tight spot. I've already done this once, so I know I fit, but barely. It's not, it's not made for beasts like me. Okay. So I'm now inside the secret basement and apparently uh, they were able to build this on the guys that they had to fix the uh, pipe here for the bathroom. So, and then apparently what they did was they, to, to, to get rid of all of the dirt and not cause any suspicion, they actually took it out in small containers and snuck it out of here at night. And then we're going to go down this little path here, and then this will take us upstairs. So they use this 
as a way to, uh, oh, I can barely fit through here. They use this for people like if they were VC that were here or uh, the uh, North Vietnamese uh, People's Army, um, if they were hiding out here, they could escape through the roof because this goes all the way to the second floor. Okay. This actually comes out into the bathroom on the second floor. So if, if people had to escape, they could come up through here and then up on the roof, get out that way. So kind enough to let me up on the roof here. So that's how these guys could escape is up through the roof here. Which probably happened a few times. Oh yeah. So this is my idea of a visit to Ho Chi Minh City, going to a place like the Javu on Chui, seeing a local traditional market, going down the alleyway, seeing everyday life, coming to an indie cafe like the Cafe de Feu. On top of that being a historical landmark, it's absolutely remarkable. And I really don't think you can begin to understand the Vietnamese and the history of Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon until you visit places like this. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. There's more videos to see from East Asia, Southeast Asia, and South Asia, so subscribe to the channel now. Thanks again from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, District 3. This is John Sabo. See you soon.